Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon and this is a channel that is dedicated to all things related to narcissism. I've been married to a covert narcissist for close to 20 years. I'm separated from him now and I use my real life experiences of being married to a narcissist to talk about what narcissism is, what it looks like, what it does to you, what it does to your family. Before I start today's video, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel. At the end of the video, please give it a thumbs up and please comment. I'd love to hear from some of you. So today's video is going to be marriage to the narcissist, what it looks like and how the narcissist views marriage. If you're like most people, you start, you're, when you're about to get married, you are so happy. You are exuberant. You are bubbling over with joy. You can't wait to start your life with this amazing person that loves you and you love them and you have each other's backs and you know, you're know you gonna hand in hand walk through life together. You're thinking all joyous thoughts. Unfortunately, when you are married to a narcissist, they don't share that dream with you. They're in it just for themselves. They're, think of them like a parasite. You are the host, they're the parasite. They during, so when you get married, they're attaching themselves to you and they're going to feed off you. That's what they do. You do all the giving, they do all the taking. So when you are in a marriage to a narcissist, what you can expect is that you're not going to be listened to. You're not going to be genuinely cared for. Narcissist only is interested in you if it benefits them. That's always the caveat for anything. Any interest they have, anything they do for you is solely for their benefit. They're not going to want to hear about your day. They're not going to want to hear about what you have to say about anything. Like I said, unless it benefits them. These are the type of people where you want to talk about your day and their reaction is going to be, mm-hmm, yep, yep, yep. Are you done? You know, they'll look right through you. They'll be scrolling through their phone while you're talking to them. Their lack of interest will eventually become very obvious. Narcissists are always playing games. You don't know this, but when you marry the narcissist, you are now part of their game. You are the opponent, the enemy. So they, and you know, this is a game that they have to win at. So they will lie, they will cheat, they will steal. It doesn't matter. They must win. Narcissists have a very black and white mentality. They must win and be the best at everything. If they have to trample all over you, they will. You know, if somebody, I have two children, if somebody was harming my child, one of my children, I would do whatever I had to do to save my child, including physical violence. It doesn't, whatever I had to do, these are my children. I love them. I have to take care of them. They mean, they're my heart and soul. They mean everything to me. A narcissist feels that way about themselves. So if they have to harm you, they will be physically violent if they, if they feel like they have to, but certainly they will be emotionally abusive. There's no doubt about it. If you are with a narcissist, you will be emotionally abused. In fact, you will become so beaten down that after a while you won't even recognize yourself. The person you were the day you got married will bear no reality to the person that you become. You will end up being happy that your day, that they, you know, sorry, let me say that better. A good day will be one where you're not given the silent treatment. That's what your life will be reduced to. You'll be walking on eggshells all the time. That's going to be your new normal. You're always worried about the person's moods because they'll always have some issue. So you're always trying to keep them happy. You're always worried about them. And, and you'll do that with your children too. You, you, you make sure your children are keeping the narcissist happy. It just, it happens so gradually. And then it becomes your whole life. You're being emotionally abused. You have a trauma bond now. If you think of your life to the narcissist as an EKG readout, you know, up, down, up, down. At the beginning of the relationship, that's kind of how it is. As the relationship goes on, it's basically flatlined and you get an occasional blip and you hold on to that blip. That is your life. You think when the narcissist does something nice or is in a great mood, this is the real person. This is the person I married. Oh my gosh, she's back. No, 
you're trauma bonded. You are feeding, you're like the, you're like the parasite in this way. You're feeding off that little bit of high and that's what you live on because then tomorrow or who knows in two minutes, you're gonna be back down to the flat line. This, it becomes your life. You're an emotionally abused person. It happens so gradually and all of a sudden, if you are lucky, you'll wake up and realize this. A narcissist, when you have children, isn't going to care about your children either. The children are now also players in the game. So now it's not just the two of you, you got the kids too. You're all players in the game. The narcissist will have no problem abusing your child. They will make fun of them. They will make them feel bad about themselves. They will yell at them. It doesn't matter. Everything is about the narcissist. A narcissist likes their children when they are giving them supply. When the, the, if, you, if your child is particularly good looking or really good at sports, or school, something like that, the narcissist will love that because it feeds their ego. But they're not there at all for the day-to-day -day things. They'll yell at the kids. They'll make the kids feel horrible. It doesn't matter. It's always all about the narcissist. And a, you know, an adult is supposed to be the one who is reasonable, who is mature. It, that's not the case when you're with a narcissist. When you're with a narcissist, they are immature. You could have a toddler and your toddler could be more mature than the narcissist. They are severely emotionally ill. They're mentally ill. They have no ability to function in life as an adult in any healthy way. So when you're married to a narcissist, you really only have two choices. The first one is that you will stay in the relationship and suffer. You'll, you know, you're a lot of times you're so beaten down that you don't even think you can do better. So that's one option. You will live a miserable life trying to keep the narcissist happy. Or you're going to realize you really have no choice but to get out, to save yourself, to save your children. You know, if you, if you wake up, you're going to see that that really is the only choice that you have. It's a horrible thing to be married to a narcissist. I know this isn't good news. I'm going through it myself. I, I really feel for anybody going through it because you've tried to be a good person. You've tried to love this person and you are a good spouse. It's just that when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, it's really just you. You're in the relationship alone or you're in the relationship, if you think of it this way, with like a little two-year-old. You know, it's not a reciprocal relationship. It's not an equal relationship. So I hope this video has given you some information Thank you so much for watching the video. Like I said, I hope it helped. Please feel free to leave a comment and I try to make a video every day. So I will see you in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.